Hi Aries, this is Eileen with your May 2020 Psychic Tarot card reading. <clears throat> and you've got some really good cards here for the month of May. I mean, I was surprised as I was laying these out. There's so many good cards. You have the World, you have the Sun card, you have Pentacles, Chariot. I mean, you've just got some really good cards. To start with, you've got Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is talking about working at your craft, um, learning your work, your craft, <clears throat> excuse me, really well, and doing a really good job. So this could mean that you are taking classes of some kind uh, to learn a particular job that you're going to be doing. It could be that you're fairly new in a career and you're just really working hard, learning everything there is to learn about this career. Whatever you're working on, you're laying a solid foundation for yourself that is going to pay off really well over the course of your career. So this is a real solid, good card for your money, for your long-term success. And so, and you're very pleased you're taking a lot of pride in your work i guess that's what i want to say you're being very conscientious about details you're um just being doing a very thorough job at whatever it is that you're focusing on so that is a real uh good place to be and then the next card you have is the world card this is all about success prosperity i get a lot of creativity with this card so um, this that you're doing with laying this wonderful foundation for yourself, for your future, it just shows here with the world how it's really going to be paying off for you. So I am feeling for a number of Aries, this world card ties in with your own inner creativity, that there are different creative projects or interests that you have, that you're working on, that you're developing. And so in the month of May, you might really be getting more serious about putting your attention on your creativity and your creative projects, bringing forth um, different, I don't know, just cre creative ideas and plans that you have inside of yourself. And you're living your true self, being who you are from your heart and soul. And this is going to be providing you with a lot of fulfillment from the inside out, something you can't get from outside of yourself. It's something you're developing uh, from what's inside of you. And so uh, it could be, you know, a lot of people are staying home a lot now. You might just find you have a little more time available to put into these creative pursuits. But it's going to give you a sense of satisfaction, pride in your work and yourself, um, fulfillment. So I'm getting different scenarios for different people. There could be something uh, in the way of theater, dance, music, making something, or um, maybe painting, creating something with clay. Somebody might to work with clay where they're making something. Uh, I'm just getting all, you know, just these different, different uh, images and different scenarios for different people. Overall, it's a really good card to have. It's a great card to have alongside that Eight of uh, pen Pentacles. Next card you have is the Chariot, another major arcana card. Chariot is saying that you are in control. You have to focus on what it is you want for your life and propel the Chariot forward. The Chariot's ready to take you where you want to go. But you have to do the work, you have to focus, you have to believe in yourself, believe in your dreams and your goals, and uh, just with your intention, propel that chariot forward. Otherwise, it's staying in one place. <laughs> so you might have a lot of, uh, you know, with the term, all dressed up and nowhere to go. <laughs> that just came to my mind. Otherwise, if you don't make it your intention, make it put Put down your plans, write down your goals, write down how you're going to achieve your goals one step at a time, and just make up your mind. You're not settling for less. Now, I do feel that for some Aries, there's something or someone you're waiting on at this time. This could very well tie in with a personal relationship. 
So I feel like there's someone in your life already and you're waiting. It's almost like you are prepared to propel yourself forward. That's not a problem. This person who's close to you in your life it could be a relative, it could be a romantic relationship with someone. They are somehow distracted, they're focusing on something else, they might not be in the picture temporarily around you, but for some reason you're waiting on them. You're waiting, um, you know, it's almost like you want their encouragement or their approval or them even to be with you as you propel your chariot forward. But the fact is, you need to move. You need to move it forward. <laughs> you don't want to stand still at this time. If they can, you know, they can always catch up to you later if they want to, if they're supposed to. Uh, but you have everything you need to move forward on your own and be very successful, be independent. Well, Aries are independent anyway, independent, self-sufficient, and move yourself forward towards your goals, your dreams. You can totally do this on your own. And if that other person is catchy, wants to catch up with you later or along the way, great, that's fine. But don't feel like you have to stay completely attached to them And uh, as you pursue your goals and achieve your dreams. In some ways, they're kind of, their distract, uh, distractions and their own lives are holding you back right now. Okay. Next card you have is the Empress, another major arcana destiny card. Empress is talking about bringing things to fruition, planting your seeds, watching them grow. And also, it's showing that you're doing a pretty good job of balancing things in your life in May. Balancing your work with your personal life, with your recreation, with your family life, whatever. And But while still working hard. It's like you've been working hard. You've accomplished things. You continue to work hard. You're very responsible about all of your work that you need to do. Um, and you've been doing a really good quality job also. Um, you've achieved a certain amount of success for yourself and you feel really good about that. And you have a good grip on things. It's like you've got, you've got it going, you know, you know how to do a, to balance things, um, be getting where you want to get to while at the same time doing whatever balancing you need. So you're not just being a workaholic. So you can have a private life and a personal life or, you know, rest when you want to or do something you're interested in here and there. Next card you have, and this, the Empress can sometimes talk about a pregnancy too. So it's possible for some Aries in the month of May, you might, you might be pregnant. <laughs> Page of Pentacles. This is talking about some good news regarding your money or employment, career, something of value, getting some good news about that in the month of May. You might be receiving money that's due you. You might be receiving word about getting money or property or something of value that's coming your way. This is a very good indicator here for you, and it ties in really well with these other cards that are just talking about success and pursuing your goals and achieving your dreams. And I always recommend everybody learn about the law of attraction because a lot of people, especially now with the environment we're living in, are not going to be feeling very prosperous and successful. But uh, whatever we're going through nowadays, it's a passing thing. It's gonna, We're going to move on from all that and be getting back to normal little by little. So you need to stay focused on what your goals and your dreams for your life are because um, don't let anyone tell you that there's no use dreaming about what you want because you can still achieve your dreams and your goals at whatever. You know, it might take a little longer or may not. Uh, we don't know. So, um, but you can still go after and achieve a lot and accomplish a lot in your life. And so you're going to have some good news about your money, about finances, about things of value to you that can help you in your life. It could even be a job. Maybe you're applying for a job and you might find out you have that job or maybe a transfer promotion or some other something like that that's going to bring you more money. And oh, what I was talking about though with the law of attraction, the more you feel prosperous, feel successful, make it your intention to accomplish your dreams and your goals, the more the universe will bring those conditions to you 
So just stay focused on what you do want, not what you don't want. So you might not want to listen to the news all day long but <laughs> if you're at home <laughs> because that'll just cause you stress and anxiety. You know, you want to check in here and there maybe with it and check your local news, but don't, don't let it drain you. Stay focused on your goals. You've got so much good energy for the month of May wanting to push you forward. I mean, the sun card, such good. Look, you got the sun and the moon. The moon card. This is talking about things going on under the surface that you might not be getting informed about. There could be some gossiping, some jealous people who resent you, resent the position you're in. They might be feeling like they're not doing too well and you're just sitting pretty right now. So they're resentful. However, you have got yourself to wherever you are. You know, no one gave you what you have. So if you have a little more than certain other people or you're a little more uh, fortunate, uh, it's because this is where you've gotten yourself in life. And um, But it does, this could be people in your workplace. It could be neighbors, maybe some relatives. But And this is a general reading. So some of these cards may resonate with you while others do not. But this is talking about some just jealous, resentful people. They can't cause you any harm. Um, you easily rise above them. You might be vaguely aware of them, but I don't feel like you're needing to be overly bothered by them. You know, they can't do you anything. And not only that, you see that's just where they're coming from. That's how they are. They're just small-minded, kind of petty people. Now, on the other hand, you could be dealing with some people in a business transaction that might not be telling you all the details. They might try to um, cheat you in some way. So be very cautious about that. The moon does help your intuition. Listen to your feelings if you have any kind of business deals to make of any kind or signing any papers. Listen to your intuition because there could be some dishonest people wanting to cheat you, looking at you like you've got more than they have or you've got enough that they'd like to get some of what you have. So just be aware of that. But it looks like you stay in pretty good shape. Next card you have is the Hierophant, another major arcana card. Hierophant has to do with organized religion. It can have to do with government organizations, um, academic institutions, um, and so for a number of areas, you might still be in contact with the religion that you grew up in. You might have relatives or friends that participate in that religion. You might still participate in it. However, you have developed a lot of your, uh, your thinking for yourself at the same time. You're not just following every, every little detail of that religion. So you might still, you, you might even be questioning that religion a lot more than maybe you did when you were younger, if that's the religion you grew up with. And so you're, you have a mind of your own. You can think for yourself. So you have your own code that you live by now. However, um, I, I do feel for some of you, you're still in contact. Maybe you still attend a service here and there, or you have relatives or friends or, or whatever that still are participating in that particular religion. This can also refer to consulting with someone that you consider to be a wise spiritual person or that type of thing too. Um, Next card you have is Seven of Wands. This is where you could be defending yourself, defending your position in the month of May. Wands do relate to the fire signs of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, but they also represent the areas of work and progress, action. Um, so this could be a workplace competition of some sort where other people from your workplace are poking at you and wanting you to do things their way. You might be above them somehow in your position, or maybe you've been there longer, or maybe you're just smarter than a lot of them. <laughs> and you can see things more clearly than they can see things, and they're looking at things in a, a more, in a, a, I don't know, in a small-minded way or something. And uh, they're wanting you to do things um, their way. But you're just standing firm. See, the person's not afraid. They're standing there holding their wand and just defending themselves. So, um, and this is nothing new for Aries. You've been down this road before in different places, whether in your personal life or in your business life, where you just have to put your foot down and say, no, I disagree with that. And you're not going to, I'm not, no one's going to push me around. And so I'll do what I want. You do what you want, you know, and that's basically the way it is. And so you might find yourself in a situation like that either in work, business matters, maybe some personal situations, but it's nothing new. It's just a passing thing. 
and you'll you'll do fine anyway. Next card you have the sun, and alongside that you got the six of pentacles. You got the sun under the empress. I love it. The world, such good cards here. Um, I'm in Aries too. I'm March 22nd, so I'm happy with this reading. <laughs> Next card, the sun. The sun will be shining its light and its energy upon you, upon your life, your dreams, your goals in the month of May. And going forward, the sun's energy is very strong. This can help carry you through and see you through as the year goes by. So whatever challenges you're dealing with at this time, you can ride them out and you can just overcome those challenges as you have on many other occasions in your life. Um, Aries are tossed a lot of challenges. We get the rug pulled out from under us at least our share of the time. And Aries are good at just getting back up, brushing themselves off, and keep going. You know, we, we, we spring back pretty quick. I mean, sometimes you'll have a setback where you kind of, you know, um, st stop for a minute or two and, and, <laughs> and get um, discouraged. But then you get yourself back up. It's like, no, nope, tomorrow's a new day. And so the sun's going to be giving you that wonderful energy in the month of May and going forward as the months are going by to shine on your life, your goals, your dreams, helping you to have the success that you want for your life, the love and the healing energy, prosperity, all the good that you want for yourself, for your loved ones. And so this is such a wonderful energy. I just love this reading. I mean, the world, I couldn't believe it when I was, and I mean, I shuffled those cards really well. I laid them out. And it's like, oh, my God. <laughs> so the last card you have is the Six of Pentacles, another Pentacle card. This is talking about working, doing really good quality work. People appreciate the quality of work you do, whether you work for a company or you're self-employed. People appreciate doing business with you if you're self-employed. They like your consistency. Whatever your work is that you do, you're very steady and consistent. You don't do good work one day and the next day is something else. And also you don't show moodiness and you just look like the same person. You know, whenever they see you or talk to you, you're pretty much who you are. And so... Um, uh, you, they just like that about you. People like when they're dealing with somebody that's not a different person <laughs> from one week to the next. So, and that's what they see in you. Consistency and someone who does good quality work and who takes pride in the work they're doing. And so you're even going to be, might even be feeling a little generous because you're in the, in the flow. You're in that universal flow in the month of May where you're making money and so you might feel a little generous and share some of the money you're making, whether you're giving to a charity or maybe just giving of your time. You might just be giving quality time to those that a lot of times you're too busy to give your time to. So great card to end on. But this really to me is uh, um, the circle. You know, you, you receive, you give, and you're in that flow and you have faith in yourself and in the universe. And that to me is talking about the law of attraction where you continue to have that confidence and that faith and just, and it's working for you. So, okay, now this deck I've been using, this is the Gilded Tarot by Cheryl Marchetti. And what I want to do now is pick one card from the Magical Mermaid and Dolphin deck by Doreen Virtue. If you like my uh, readings, be sure and subscribe to my channel. Click the notification button so you'll be notified when I when I uh, post a new video. And check your rising and moon sign videos as they're coming available to see if something resonates with you on one of those. And if you're born on the cusp of another sign and you identify with the traits of that other sign, you could even check that sign's reading too. I'm on the cusp of Pisces since I'm March 22nd. And, and I'm kind of a watery Aries, so uh, I can identify with a little bit of the Pisces traits, but uh, much more so Aries though. Okay, so magical mermaids and dolphins, what is your message for Aries for the month of May? What is your message? Okay, I'm going to fan these out. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Oh, wow, okay, blessed change. A major life change brings you great blessings. 
I love that. Blessed change. A major life change brings you great blessings. So you see, you never know. Some people are not working right now. And you never know. That might end up opening something, a new world to you uh, afterwards that you will be very grateful for. Because I know sometime when I've had the rug pulled out from under me in, over my lifetime, and go and, and make a new start doing something else or in another location or whatever. I look back and it's like, oh my God, thank God that happened because now I'm way better off than I was. So you never know what kind of, um, sometimes it seems like you're having a setback and then later you look and you say, wow, that really was a, a blessing in disguise. Okay, now I'm shuffling the, um, what is this, the... Okay, Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed Okay, Spirit Animals, what is your message for Aries for the month of May? Spirit Animals, what is your message for Aries? And these cards always stick together. Okay, Armadillo Spirit, set healthy boundaries. Well, that's good in a lot of different ways, both the health as far as the way you're living your life, you know, food, exercise, sleep, and also in relationships with other people setting healthy boundaries. Armadillo spirit. We have those around here. They dig in the dirt at nighttime. <laughs> and you go out the next day sometime and you see these little holes in the ground. I think that's the armadillos that do that. But they eat ants, which is great. So they're wonderful for getting rid of the ants out in the yard. Okay. Now, last but not least, I'll pick one. Messages from your angels card by Doreen Virtue. So angels, what is your message for Aries for the month of May? What is your message for Aries for the month of May? Okay, I'm going to give it one more shuffle, fan these out. Okay, this is Angel Vanessa. To make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose? Which way takes me away from it? Um... And, you know, you can always, when you're trying to make a decision about what direction to go in or, uh, you know, whether take uh, path A or path B, listen to your feelings under your skin. If you get an uncomfortable feeling under your skin, that, that's a red flag. If you get a comfortable, smooth feeling, that's a good sign. Okay, now, um, okay, well, I hope you like your reading for May. Be sure and check your rising and moon sign videos as they're coming available. Uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post videos. And feel free to leave your comments. I welcome your comments. If anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. So Aries, have a wonderful May. And uh, we'll talk again soon.